Hey there. So today I'm bringing you the review of the Olight Javelot Mini Flashlight, which I recently received from FlashlightGo.com, uh, which is a flashlight store. And please she check the link in the description for the store. And well, I don't know where to start because this is nothing to do with the store and of course as it wasn't Olight that sent me the flashlight it's not about Olight either it's about the flashlight itself I am actually surprised with this light and I will tell you why and it's related to its functioning and the specs it says here that it throws around 600 meters. I didn't have the time to test it at that distance, but I can tell you that at more than 200 meters, it throws that far and it's visible. And I am really happy with it. I have another video that you can see uh, with beam shots, comparing it with other flashlights, and I am really, really surprised with it. Let's let's try to to see what's inside, and and this is the box, of course. It has some uh, general specs: 600 meters throw, 1,000 lumens uh, max output. In the back, you have some more specification. This is powered by uh, an 18500 uh, rechargeable battery, proprietary. That's one of the cons that we will, of course, um, give to this flashlight because it's a proprietary battery. And, uh, well, it, but you can always find another uh, battery, of course, for it. And it also has some... Uh, uh, runtime specifications and also the the levels that the flashlight has but let's open it this is one of those magnetic uh, boxes here you see the magnets here uh, it glues it attaches to this part that's just a fancy stuff this is a message from Olight in this case and when we start opening the box so we have some basic indications from uh, where to start before use and so we have to remove the, the protection films on the glass and on the battery part and then we should charge the battery before use and I will tell you what I did when I got it. This is the user manual and inside we have one part and the second part here that will be important and again on the bottom of the, the box some more thinking. So what's inside here? A holster the Olight Javelite Mini and here we will have the magnetic charger which is a bit different from the regular ones I can tell you another one that I received with the flashlight some time ago so this is part is metal this part here seems like plastic eventually Yeah, it's eventually plastic. Still, it's quite sturdy. And the rest is almost the same, like with the previous ones. And later on, I will show you how it can be used. Before going to the flashlight, let's take a look at the user manual. So, some basic information about the flashlight. High mode will run around 
6.5 minutes at 100%, then decreases to 50% of the, the output, stays there for 78 minutes, and then decreases to 20% output, and lasts there, 20, not 20, but 19 minutes. And the low mode will be on 200 lumens for 4 hours and 57 minutes. Again, IPX8, uh, waterproof, 1.5 meters uh, resistance, uh, impact resistance, works from 0 to up to 40 degrees Celsius. And, well, these are the charging specs, massive current charging, 1A, so it's better to stick to the included cable instead of the one that I showed before. Again, before first use, let's, well, I've used it before, of course, but let's follow the instructions. So, this is the tail cap, long threading, brass button here, mm -hmm. and this is one of the things that you have to remove. And we are, can already see the battery. So you have the plus and the minus contacts, and here the negative pole again. This is a proprietary battery, and I will try to compare it just in terms of visuals with another uh, 18500 battery that I use in my Lumen Top. FWAA flashlight light, FW3A flashlight. So, this is how small a regular one is, and of course, this is protected and has that extra length here. Um, let's see what's since we are here. So, you have a spring there for the positive pole, and then a brass ring for the negative pole. And nothing else over there. And here you have the threads. So, first step done. Insulating part. And then, as it says here, before first use, please remove the protective film elements. And voila! And here we see a different LED. Um, I've read some reviews and it was kind of inconclusive what kind of LED this is. Um, some speculate about the yinding, I guess, but it's not completely sure and other names are given. I haven't uh, reached a conclusion yet, so I in my written review that you can see on the on the description link on the description the review on budget light forum maybe i will give some more information about this if i can find it because olight does not discloses what kind of led this is well and that's it but well first two steps removing the insulation so it's done and then before first use, well, we should charge it. When I received the flashlight, I was trying to use it and I was pushing the button here and I felt like this vibrating and I said, whoa, what's going on here? And well, it says here, let me see where it is because I've read it before. So. If the, um, if the power is below 30%, it will vibrate once in each five minutes. And if it's below 10%, it will vibrate twice per minute. And below 5%, it will vibrate three times every 10 seconds. And that is what I felt when I first picked the flashlight. It was like vibrating like a cell phone. Zzz, zzz, zzz. And suddenly I was pushing the, the button and it stopped working. So I picked the cable and of course I charged it. 
and I let it charge for well hours I don't know three hours maybe um, and because it needs to be charged so that it doesn't vibrate and of course so that you can use it speaking of charging well this is the cable it's not connected yet so you will see it's green and when it's connected you can see here that it's red also if it's not connected correctly it will be green so be, be sure that you have the flashlight with the battery inside and that it's tightened and that it's charging correctly um, I will also show you something this is the, the holster we'll go there in a minute but as you can see it can also be used with the holster inside so you can put it on a table with a holster inside and with this charging or turned upside down because as you will see well well sorry you can see there that there's some light because of the the way the bezel looks like but well let's go to the functioning again you have seen the, the charging cable it will be green when charged or not connected well and red when it's charging as for the holster uh, contrarily well it's kind of bulky but it's kind of sturdy at the same time I've tried to put this in on my jeans and contrarily to what I was thinking actually when pulling this up from the pockets this part here um, helps to uh, maintain it in place this is it's it slides but then it stops when it reaches this point and then the battery comes out uh, the battery no the flashlight comes out so it's, it's quite unusual I normally prefer this kind of holsters and right now we can check if it fits not so much but you will see it this is a convoy uh, holster and it's it's not well a little bit but if you have a bigger one like this you can also use it you don't have to use this one if you don't want to but this one of course allows you to charge it if you are uh, in need of uh, some battery charging and this one has that advantage and of course it also has the advantage of not being covered so you can pull it at any time from a backpack from a pocket from a, a shoulder strap whatever from a sling uh, bag whatever that you want or where you can use it and now let's go to some other stuff so you've seen it uses a smooth reflector the lens are um, anti-reflex coated let's try to see the bezel a little bit so you you see the bezel shape so it's not completely uh, flat it has some grooves over there I would not say that this is a self-defense bezel not at all but it has some it has some grooves that allows the light to come out so that you know and well concerning the grip of course it has that this olight grip knurling that well it's more or less similar to what you find in other flashlights this one is more aggressive this one is less aggressive but still it provides good grip and here it provides good it's sinking because this LED it will uh, get hot after a while I haven't tested to the max but this hot surface that you find here it will be true after a while also here you have the serial number if there is, is any problem with your flashlight in the front there's only a light and we've seen what's inside of course this is the tail cap it's a regular one like you can see with previous flashlight models um, and it's the magnetic charging I will do something right now so hold on there I'm not running but I will take 
a few seconds just to uh, get some leverage to open this. And what I will, I'm going to try to show you, it's the bezel. Around the bezel you have the, well it's an o-ring that covers the lens and protects it from the top and the bottom. So the lens it's in the middle of the, well, at the top of the bottom of the o-ring, let's call it that way. It embraces the lens. This is this is the bezel. I'm trying not to put some marks over there, so it's a smooth uh, reflector, aluminium, and here. Let's try. Let's try to see it. So Javelin I mean, version one point zero and. There you can see the direct thermal path uh, MCPCB and the LED. I won't mess with this, but it seems like it's a 50 50 uh, footprint. Eventually, the gasket is white and it helps the reflector to sit uh, where it has to sit. I don't know, it's probably too. Two millimeters, eventually more, um, that the MCPCB measures in terms of height, uh, thickness. In, in this case, let's put it back to in the place. And well, let's try to put the bezel where it belongs without doing that stuff. Uh, so it's in place. And now let's screw this again. So, of course, if you want to change the LED, if you need to change the LED, if you want to try something different, you can do it. Of course, you need to uh, be aware that this has a driver and that driver is configured to be used with this type of LED. So if you want something different, you need to be aware of the voltage, currents, and all that stuff uh, of the that the LED and the, the driver provides. So, some uh, comparison with other flashlights. This is a thrower. This is the Astrolux EC03. It's not uh, well. I would not call it a thrower, but it's also a flashlight that, although using um, three LEDs, it throws a lot and it's one of my go-to when I go to the field and I, I need some flood and some throw at the same time that can be carried, well, very easily because it's not a big flashlight. So, but this is how one compares to the other. Both are green. Uh, this one is darker. It's probably what they call the olive green. I don't know. It's quite different. Uh, from this one, I actually like this a little bit more, but both are beautiful. Um, this is one of those. This is one of my modified throwers. This is an Eagle Eye X3R modified with uh, lead for power driver, configured up to 5 amps, I guess, and an Osram White uh, 1 LED. It's a, a thin hot, so just an hot spot here. And so this is a comparison of my homemade thrower. And this is another of my homemade throwers, which is a Convoy X6. It's covered because I didn't I didn't want to damage the, the knurling and the anodizing that much. And it is also configured it with a smooth reflector and uh, lead for power uh, driver and other white one LED. This is also, this is a, a different beam. This is the Eagle Eye. It's, well, it's a bit uh, more defined. And now I will show you 
Now this one is the Diolite Jevlot Mini. And here it has some artifacts. I will try to show it with the white. I will try to shoot, shut down the lights. So it has some artifacts here. Seems like it, it has an eye around this center. Um, it's related to the, the um, reflector shape. And this is low and this is high. 1000 lumens and 200 lumens. This is how it looks like. It's laying down and when laying down, this is the beam profile. If I put it a little bit up, so you, you see it has some, um, some artifacts on the beam, but well, this is a thrower. This is not something that you will use inside a house for something. Um, so you will not notice those artifacts outside. What I also would like to, to tell about this is how to operate the flashlight. So as I said, it has two modes and you have momentary and continuous mode. So for low, you can have momentary low and just press and leave it there or just make like a half click and it will stay there. Turn it off, just off press again and let it go back. And for the high mode, you you heard? So you heard the click, it's like on high and you can have it momentary or you can make a full press and leave it like there in its continuous high. So both can be momentary, like pressing one and advancing to the next one, momentary, and it can be continuous, low, and then you press and it's continuous on. There are no blinkings, no SOS, no other stuff. So it's completely straightforward flashlight. And well, that is one of the things that I really like because if you are trying to look something uh, far in a distance, I was, as I was saying, I was trying to use it at 200 meters and I'm, I was seeing perfectly what was there in the middle of the night. So you don't need blinkings interfering with your vision. So you just need these two modes and you can make one, two, one, two, one. It will not, it will not blink. It will be only those two modes. And I, that's one of the things that I feel it's great that Olight did it like this. Of course, I can also point right now a con because it's the battery. If it was an 18650, it would be a larger uh, battery, of course, it would be uh, a different tube, but it also would have more capacity. So this one has two, 2040 and uh, an 18650 could have at least 3500. So it would be a bit more capacity to use outside, especially because this, this, is, this is a, a thrower, so it has to be, or it is to be used outside. And outside you need more, um, more capacity to search what you are looking for. But, well, it is what it is, but it, it's, it's a, a con, let's call it that way. I know also that there is another version of this, probably the Pro, I guess, but, well, I only have the, the mini version and I'm and I'm happy with it and I want to thank Flashlight Go for sending it. This is the measurements, length and here it is the head, the tail cap uh, and here it has some different measurements as well. And the thinner part here. And that's it. And some waiting. Hello for you too. And of course, right now the flashlight has the battery inside. 
and this is what it weighs and this is the holster so 300 grams and that's pretty much it of course if you carry the the cable with you it's some more grams but it, it will not make a fuss and last but not least let's put it alongside with some of my other Olight flashlights my lineup these are probably the ones I love the most the, the warrior flashlights I have one in black and one in red but I also like these smaller ones and uh, well it's not centered but who cares you you see so this is pretty much it I I am really happy and this is a surprise for me I was well in the week that I was modding this flashlight and well not this one sorry this one because I wanted something with a, a throwy beam and a, a, a narrow beam I received the, the Javelot Mini and it was quite a surprise to compare the three of, of them because the way this beam is defined at longer distance it's incredible I hope that the video that I made uh, can portray that because it's um, well it's really uh, defined and it's really usable for uh, for a distance I will try to test it in a distant a far a further distance sorry I'm getting tired um, but uh, for if you want 200 meter 250 it will be there you can see what's what's there and then what's defined and there are other reviews showing it it will not be only this one um, but check it out um, and of course you have to uh, bear in mind the cons namely the battery capacity of course and uh, that you have to buy propri proprietary cells but apart from that this is a great choice if you need a uh, more or less pocket thrower without the need to modify it to make it more throwy it would be great if Olight could identify the, L the LED uh, because of course well we know that the business is the, the secret is the, the soul of the business but well some people in the flashlight community as I am as myself uh, we like to modify flashlights and really like to have this this kind of LEDs to make it better it would not be uh, it would not take the market from this but it would have some more options for the mothers and of course again I would like to to think to flashlight go store please check the link in the description and see their store and if you have some comments or questions, leave them below and I will try to reply as soon as possible. And again, uh, enjoy, thanks for watching and have a nice day, whenever it is.